Oh, also must declare a holy war on Kosovo. Well then, um... Yeah, let's just say that Ottomans are going to be strong this run, unless there's got another massive coalition against them. I suppose they did get pretty strong... Oh, hold on a minute. Oh yeah, Constantinople has fallen. I mean, it is 1447, I suppose. That kind of makes sense. And do we still have the exploration going down here? Let's wait for the... Also, but I believe we have a ship going in the Pacific right now. Six years too early. And more. <laughs> no, I mean, at least it wasn't like uh, within a decade. Although we don't know exactly when that peace deal happened. But there is that. Right, so is that? Yeah, that is our ships. Oh, I have a feeling that, yeah, <laughs> it's just a straight line over here. Well, there's a Galapagos uh, uh, archipelago over there that we explore. Oh, right, and there's a, oh, this has got to be Northern Pacific, isn't it? Okay. Ottomans are usually too friendly with the ones to the south, so they expand uh, westward more than eastwards and stuff. Yeah, well, I mean, once we do our Ottomans run, then we are going to be expanding every direction. Spreading our glorious uh, nation. What is Castile doing? They're just expanding their military, but I don't suppose they are fighting a war. Oh, we're a bit over our force elevator right now. I wasn't expecting that sort of uh, change in the numbers there. Oh, because nobility hates us. Right. Uh, there's probably something that I could do about it. Got their lead. Um, <laughs> over lieutenant abuse. Um, do I want to lose legitimacy? I mean, seven. Yeah, it's going to get us over thirty percent loyalty at least. So we'll do that. Is there anything else? I want to do the yearly prestige penalty. Strategic marriage would probably do. Kind of new era is pretty good, and the uh, another seven and a half percent loyalty. Was there any more? Grand celebrations are too expensive. Line. Up. Okay, so we can't really do that much anymore. We promote the faction, but that means that we won't be able to do the reform, so not going to do that. So that's going to be... Well, it's actually not that expensive. It's going to be a little bit expensive being this much over our force limit. It's actually 1.7 1, 1. ducats extra cost right now, so I suppose, yeah, it does make quite a bit. Why is our professionalism right now? It's 18%. What is the exact number? 18.5. Okay. So close to getting to 20%, which means that we'll gain the drill a bit faster. Still not going to be massive boost, I reckon, but hey, it's better than nothing. And... Oh, right, yeah, I didn't want to get the bureaucratic ideas. Right, so let's do that one. Uh, bureaucracy, or bureaucracy ideas. And then admin cost and admin efficiency. And then advisor cost. That's going to reduce the upkeeps quite nicely. Now, we may need to gather up a bit more admin points before we can do any of the reforms, but I suppose, yeah, we can probably do the, or start doing the reforms next year. Because we can do the um, promote um, bureaucracy to get the influence up to at least 30 and do some of the reforms. Now, it's probably going to be quite expensive for our stability. But if we go below or into negative stability for a little while, I think we'll be all right. We don't really have that much instability in our nation right now. Also, how's the fairs, um, look at the desire. 71, oh. Is that again because of the, well, it's partially because of the, uh, yeah, Clemson. Well, actually, it is mostly because of that, yeah. All right, then. Right, so at least next year, nobility shouldn't be that big of a problem, so the force limit should be fine. I wonder if there's anything in the workers over here that we should do to increase their loyalty. Promote the faction? No. Trade efficiency goes down. Commerce production inefficiency would go down as well. But no, I don't necessarily want that one. Very good. Autonomy, pardon smugglers. That would increase corruption. Provide a tax relief. That would be a bit of admin points. And... okay. Honestly, that's not too bad. 
it does mean that we lose a bit of admin points, but like getting the burgers loyalty up a bit higher is probably not a bad idea. Like clergy is really loyal, has been pretty much the entire playthrough. Okay, so do we take the at naval attrition or not? Again, I'm kind of tempted to get the settler ch chance increase there, which is going to increase the growth over here, but at the same time, it's just saving the points for the reforms and the diplotech might not be a bad idea either. Like, if we can get the diplotech high enough, so or keep that much ahead of Spain, that would mean that we could colonize places like Caribbean a lot sooner than they can. I actually wonder about the expeditions thing, so it should be listing the places. This extra oh, right, it's showing the witch. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Uh, Caribbean. Patriotic, Anatolia. Iberia, that? Iberia, okay. Uh, Diplo 19 is when we can start colonizing Caribbean. Good to know. And then what about West Africa? Right. Um, West Africa? Diplo 16 is when we can start doing the colonies in West Africa. So actually, saving for the Diplotech might be good because that means that we can then start doing the colonies over here to basically make sure that uh, Castilians can't colonize anything in here. I'm not entirely sure what Cap Verde is going to be. It might be West Africa. But that is also another place that we definitely want to get. Remove the bureaucrat faction. Then if we refresh this... It doesn't actually show that, unfortunately. Not yet, it might need to... Just double check. Oh, bollocks, it only got us to 25. I guess we're not going to do those reforms then, are we? Oh, and the general has died. Oh dear. We probably don't need a general right now, do we? We'll probably survive without... I mean, it's going to save us a bit of points at least. Well, let's have a look at the reform, the administration. Is there anything that we can do? Nope. Not really. I, mean, I suppose we don't have necessarily have the points to do some of those. Oh, Ansang is skeptical. Mission strength and tolerance and true faith go down, tolerance of heretics and heathens goes up. I mean, fair enough. But yeah, we definitely want to get the Miltech 15 to increase the chance of succeeding in the Build Select Expedition. Um, how much do we need for that? Probably not all that much. I'm not going to send an expedition now because we want to keep the prestige up. Because I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to succeed in anything. But we will get the Diplo 16 and then we're going to start doing the expeditions into West Africa. And that should be alright. Well, that should help quite a bit in the long run at least. Uh, did we get the... Force Limit didn't actually go up. So we still got a bit too low loyalty on the nobility. Well, that's a bit of a shame. I don't suppose there's anything else that I can really do. I'm, other than the... We already used the legitimacy option as well. Not less nobility is going to be a bit rough. That would give 20 loyalty though. Are we, we're losing prestige already though, so... <laughs> it would be a bit rough. Um, Here's 20 loyalty. I'm going to take that. It's going to be that the prestige is going to tank, but at least nobility is going to be very loyal. Well, at least fairly loyal for a while. Which is going to give us the leeway, hopefully, to then do some of the reforms later on. Oh, uh, we still have a bit of... um. Rebe oh, right, the rebellions down here might happen. Let's go ahead and put you into the rebel suppression mode once more. There we go, that should help. Probably not going to have a massive impact, to be fair, but it's going to slow it down enough so that it's not actually going to be a problem. Right, so we could probably close the tooltips over here again for the expeditions. I suppose we don't need that to be... It's a priority there, so it should actually get rid of the decision thingy there. Good. Oh! Reformation in Denmark. 
where among the possible options they went with Lutheran faction. They are now Lutheran. We didn't actually see this uh, in the Tuscany game. This part, I think we did uh, reach at least 1500. We just didn't get lucky, I guess. Or maybe well, there may have been some bugs initially in the saver. I don't know. Or like the, in the initial version. Where we started. Okay, Tenerife, I think it's time to start converting you. The others are not really an option yet. On the other hand, Tenerife is also going to be taking quite a while, but once the unrest goes down, or the rather separatism goes down, it means that the conversion is going to take or pick up some more speed. Right, is this colony still... yeah. These items are still broken. That's a bit of a shame. I wonder if that's going to happen with all the colonies that we do manually. I suppose you, you, you're probably supposed to be using more about the expeditions, I suppose. To a certain degree. Or it might just mean that we need to load up the save again for that to be visible. We've got 5% or 5.6% chance of getting more people in Madeira with the colonies right now, so it's why it's going to be less than, yeah, it's about 5% on average a year. Extra, oh, and the spread has also slowed down. Oh, we did have some of the modifiers, didn't we? Okay, so that, yeah, that means Madeira is not going to be done anytime soon. Bit of a shame. But we're almost, oh, bollocks. We're almost at getting the middle tech 15, but then we're going to hit the taxes, so that's going to slow us down by, let's see, 7 points per month, and it's going to be 35, so it's going to be 5 months worth of mill points that we're losing in the taxes, I think. Oh, is it 30 points? Well, it's basically going to be 5 months either way. But at least we're still pretty far ahead in admin points, or admin tech, so that's not going to drop the modifier anytime soon. And I wonder now that we've got the loyalty of the nobility sorted out, I think that might have a nice impact on the force limit once more, which then of course means that we'll be able to make some money again. Which would be just in time to get some money saved up for... Oh yeah, we're making money. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think the... We're not exactly at our land force limit. Now we need to get a bit more points for the text here. We'll start doing some of the expeditions down here as soon as we can. Colonize more and more along the coast of Africa. Jolov is level 30, or Miltek 13, so is Mali. I wonder what the nations on the Gold Coast and Ivory Coast over here are. 12 and what was the other one? Now that's 12, 14 over there, that's 10. One of them is quite advanced. A lot of them, oh, that's 15. That's actually higher military than what I have. Impressive. Oh, and we've also explored a lot of India. Why is there Miltex there? That's 14, so it's probably going to be pretty good in there overall. What about, oh. Kilwa is only 9. Interesting. Right, so I suppose we haven't really done much wars this uh, session, mm -hmm. have we? Oh, Realm next. Did they conquer more of our lands, or is that just... Um... Hold on a minute. It's just the Casus Belly for... Azores, or did they get... Cut no, they didn't get Cut Verde. They might... Oh, did... was it that... It... We lost the Casus Belly. Yeah, it's... N oh, wait, no. It's still there, I think. A uh, Bubonic outbreak in Alexandria, oh dear. Go and get the Miltech now, at last. Not going to be ahead of time for long. At least we have it. We get swivel guns. Oh, it's, uh, oh right, actually. Is our army professionalism going up on its own? I don't think so. Or maybe a tiny bit. Okay, we do want to get the Diplotech as soon as possible. 
girls. So we want to have this now so that we can start doing the expeditions. And that I don't remember if it's going to be this year or the next year when the next expedition chance happens. Because okay, so Madeira is 700 colonists and Rio de Oro is um, about 190. Still room to grow. Oh, and we lost the dips or the merchant. Is that from the... Yeah, that was the one that we sent into Caribbean. Of course, there wasn't really anything to trade in there. Not yet, anyway. There will be later on, but just not quite yet. I suppose I could start converting there. Probably going to be a problem. Oh, actually, one thing that I probably do need to add here is add in that state into the suppression. Expedition from Brabant. Oh. In Madeira? Hmm. Foreigners have arrived. Once you set up a trading force on one of our province on one of our 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 province of Madeira hmm they effectively give them control of the province they offer to pay for the province but our diplomatic advisors expect that if we don't accept they will try to take it by force anyway militia our military advisor estimates that if it comes down to fight they have a four out of ten chance of losing province um I mean that would be hundred ducats but the, that would give them Madeira. I don't want to give Madeira. We do not accept that. I mean, who is Brabant allied to? I'm guessing France. Junior part of Luxembourg. And have been supported by Liège. Luxembourg? Hold on a minute. Right there. <laughs> okay. Not exactly what I was expecting. Like, we've reduced the corruption today quite drastically, at least. So there is that. And we did manage to convert quite a bit of the lands. We'll have a look at the map modes a little bit. At least, and then have a look if the Castilians have started making colonies yet. In other areas. I don't think they have. I don't think they have. And I don't think the... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the colony didn't actually succeed from Brabant there. That's good. Um... No, cut Verit is still free and all that, so it should be pretty decent in terms of the colonial game for now. If we look at the religion, we converted most of our territory. Unfortunately, we didn't manage... Oh, Fez only has 55% liberty desire now. Interesting. Those Tlemcen has grown a bit weaker or something. No, they have negative stability. That has an impact there as well. Deploy reputation is okay, and the trust has improved over time, and opinion has slightly grown, I guess. Not by much, but mind you, but we could actually improve that again. Or... If we placate the local rulers, they will actually start paying us, but we can now inform the religion, or enforce the religion, rather. So, the liberty itself is going to be massive. But, at the same time, we'll be able to start converting their provinces as well. And we'll have uh, most of Morocco uh, Catholics sooner or later. Right, then let's have a look at the... Um, what Ottomans are doing. Yeah, Ottomans are doing fine. Anyone else that's doing fine? I mean, Bohemia is probably doing fine. Poland is fine. Oh, they got a bit of rebellion. Right, that was probably the event that we saw earlier. That uh, is causing them issues. Russia is... Well, Russia. Ming is bloody massive. Korea is pretty large as well, overall. And what about India? VJ, Bengal, those both seem to be pretty decent size. And Bahmani, which is the usual players, I suppose. Mamluks, as always, are quite massive. Tunis is pretty large. I mean, how strong is the Tunis army? 16,000. It's about as large as my army. What about... If we were to declare war... I'm not going to declare the war, mind you. Oh, uh, that's 43,000 plus 70,000 manpower. Ball. I mean, is Mali and the company... I mean, suppose Mali, how strong is your army? You would have a lot of allies on you. Somewhere in the inland. You only got 10,000. Okay, so that's not too bad then. What about... 
uh, Zanhaja down here. You got two allies, but how strong? You got male level six. Oh bollocks! I should have been invading these. The army total is 16. Okay, yeah, next time we're going to start doing some... Well, we need to get uh, some claims on you first, and then we're going to start conquering you. But, you know, we can get a little bit inland over here, take most of Mali by force or something like that. Maybe we... Hmm. We could maybe even make Mali into a vassal and just take the coastline and then have Mali eat most of the inland there for us. At some point. 